Hi guys, so today I have a product review and also a recipe. I will be using this Kosori Premium pressure cooker. It's a six quart pressure cooker and I'm going to use it to make a meatball vegetable soup. I know I already have a recipe that it is meatball vegetable soup, but that one was vegan. This time I will be making a non-vegan version for all of you guys that are not vegan. I will be using pork and beef uh, meatballs. So a little bit about this. This is the box that it came in. And let me, this is really interesting because it's a six quart pressure cooker and it came with a recipe book and also the instructions of how to use it and everything that you need to know, how to prepare to cook and also non-pressurized cooking functions so you can slow cook in it and you don't have to use the slow cooker motion. You can do pasta and you can boil, you can saute and brown. You can just keep it as a warming um, pot you can reheat your food in it, and also you can make yogurt. That is very interesting to me because I've never made yogurt, but with this slow cooker, I'm going to give it a try, and then I'll give you guys my opinion on it. I really like this little recipe book because it gives you like the recipe, and it also tells you how it looks. So that is very interesting. I love it. And then it tells you right here. Well, you can't really see much, but it tells you like what settings to use for that recipe. And it has a lot of recipes in here. I'm very excited for this. So right now I'm just going to do the unboxing of it. And then I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, so here it is. This is the box and it's Kosori Premium 6 Quart Pressure Cooker. Inside you have the warranty and also like a cookbook. The lid right here. is massive. It's pretty cool. So this is how it looks. This is a steaming rack and here is the pot that goes inside. So as you guys can see, here is the pot up close and these are the functions right here. And this is the inside of it. It has this pot inside so that you can cook um, soups and everything you want like a slow cook option and you put the lid this is a lid for the pressure cooker it's pretty nice 
so it goes like that. And then it comes with these accessories right here, a little spoon. This one so you can put your spoon. And then it comes with a measuring cup, a seal, and then it has a steaming rack if you want to steam some vegetables. So right now, I'm going to get ready to make the vegetable soup. Right now I'm going to chop all the veggies and then put them in here. Put them in this pot right here. And then I'll show you my next step. So these are the ingredients that I have. I have the jalapeno cheddo meatballs right here. Some cabbage, some carrots, cilantro for garnish, jalapeno, onion, tomato, vegetable broth, whole grain rice, zucchini, russet potatoes, and corn, if you like corn. These are just frozen corns. So these are my ingredients. Now I'm going to start chopping all of the ingredients and I'm gonna be putting them in here and then I'll show you my next step. So right here I have my meatballs and the reason I didn't put the meatballs in the soup is because these have cheese. I don't know if you can see. So I don't want um, the cheese to ooze out from the soup. So I'm going to cook them separately and then in the last 10 minutes or so I will be adding them to the soup. So I will be making six of them. And this is my little mini oven and I will be putting them there. It has a timer of 30 minutes. So I'm gonna let that cook for 30 minutes and then I'll show you guys when it's done. So the soup is in the pot. Right now what I'm going to do is plug it in. And then you just secure the lid. This is the heavy duty lid. Okay, make sure you align it. Go like that so it's in lock. Now you select the soup. And then you push start. So once it's done, it's going to start beeping and then it'll tell me that it's done. So I'll see you guys in about 25 minutes. Okay, so this little red button right here that you guys see it says to let it cool down on its own for 15 to 20 minutes until the float valve drops down before opening the lid so this is still pushed up we're gonna wait 15 to 20 minutes until it drops down as you guys can see the release button is down already so now I think I can open the lid 
I'm gonna use a mint. <laughs> And here is the soup. It's all nice and done. So now I'm going to plate it and show you guys my soup. So here is the end result. This is the meatball soup that I made. Meatball vegetable soup. Now I'm going to add some lemon and enjoy. Well guys, that was my pressure cooker review and also demo of how I used it to create this meatball vegetable soup. I hope you guys liked this recipe. Thank you so much to Kasori for sending me this pressure cooker. I am not affiliated with them, but if you are interested in buying the pressure cooker, I will have a link below. It's actually not that expensive and it has a lot of functions. You probably will be using this more than any other device that you might have for cooking. So I am very, very excited. I will be having a lot more recipes to show you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.